Uh, th thank you, CMEX, uh, for inviting me here today. Uh, my name is Lois Thompson, and I'm the Minister of Agriculture and Land, as well as the Minister of Justice, Public Safety, um, and the Attorney General for Prince Edward Island. I'm also a third generation dairy farmer. Uh, I've raised Holstein cattle. My family farm sits on the banks of the Hillsborough River in French Fork, Prince Edward Island, Canada. I'm a cattle breeder. Uh, my farm, Eastside Holsteins, is a master breeder herd. Uh, my most uh, proud accomplishment is the cow uh, Eastside Louisdale Golden Nessie, uh, Supreme Champion at Madison and uh, the Royal Winter Fair in 2011. I've been fortunate enough to do uh, quite a bit of travel, sharing my experience and expertise with uh, other breeders around the world. I served the industry as a member of the Genetic Evaluation Board of the Canadian Dairy Network and uh, also a board member of the uh, Dairy Farmers of PEI. In my personal life, uh, I'm a father of three children. Uh, they're, all three are still in school and they're being homeschooled because of, of course, the COVID-19 situation and uh, my wife is working from home as well and, uh, and working with with the homeschooling section. Uh, I've volunteered as a coach in our local minor baseball association. Uh, it's one of my favorite pastimes to do is coach baseball. Um, also been vice president of Old Home Week. Uh, it's uh, our largest uh, agriculture fair on Prince Edward Island and, uh, and uh, proud to be a part of that. Um, also an elder in my, in my church. I guess my commitment to community work helped me lead in, lead myself to politics. Um, I think the same commitment led me to use my position to try to promote the, the cause of mental health and uh, emotional well-being for Canada's farmers. PEI has seen an increase um, in the number of individuals from the farming community who are in need of mental health supports. Um, because of this, uh, the Department of Agriculture has developed a mental health promotion policy. This policy uh, uses programming, uh, awareness, and uh, collaboration um, with the aim of improving mental health and uh, re resiliency in PEI's agriculture industry and in the agriculture community as a whole. Uh, earlier this year, we developed uh, the website farmerstalk.ca. Uh, it's, it's provides mental health resources for the farming community. Uh, within days of the launch, the Farmers Talk website uh, hosted well over uh, 600 uh, visitors. I think uh, the interest showed uh, that there is a need out there. Um, I can tell you from my experience and from the lives of those around me, farming can be stressful. Uh, it can be a stressful way of, to make a living. Um, but farmers, farmers are pretty good at uh, managing those stresses and dealing with the uh, unpredictable nature of this industry. Uh, <clears throat> the key is to recognize our needs and to make sure we have the uh, appropriate uh, tools in place. My department uh, wants to make it easy for farmers to access uh, the advice and support that can uh, help, help people in this industry take care of their mental well-being. Uh, we want to open up the conversation about mental health and farming. I want farmers and farm workers to know that uh, there are people who, who care and services, the services are available. Um, we encourage farmers and those that support them to visit farmerstalk.ca, uh, spark conversations, send uh, social media messages of support. Uh, encourage to use the hashtag farmerstalk. 
this is a place where people can uh, talk about their experiences um, and can offer encouragement. Uh, it's important. The important thing is that uh, we let each other know that uh, there is support. Uh, I want my fellow farmers to understand uh, that you, you are not alone. Farmerstalk.ca was developed by Pete, Prince Art Island Department of Agriculture in cooperation with other farm organizations on this island, uh, as well as our provincial mental health services. These resources build on supports already uh, being offered uh, through our, we have a program, Farmers Assistance Program, which offers free counseling, free counseling sessions to island farmers uh, and their family. Uh, and of course, uh, their employees that, that are dealing with mental health issues. I've been a farmer all my life. Uh, my family before me uh, were farmers. Many of my friends, many of my neighbors are farmers. Um, I can tell you from my experience, from the lives of those around me, uh, farming can be stressful. It, it's a, it can be, and it is a stressful way to make a living. However, uh, you have to stay positive. Help is available. There are always tools to help farmers uh, deal with challenges in this industry. You can, uh, you can hire experts to help you with uh, animal health. You can get professional advice for growing crops. Farmers buy specialized equipment all the time uh, if, if they need it and when they need it. It should be the same for tools that deal with mental health. Um, someone is in need, they, there, should be, there shouldn't be any hesitation about asking for help. Uh, we don't have to be Superman or Superwoman. Uh, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay. It's okay to talk about our, our challenges. Too many of our friends and colleagues wrestle alone with anxiety, uh, depression. I'd like to do something to change that. If I were to offer advice uh, to anybody in the farming community today would be to be open, be upfront uh, about the challenges uh, you face. Whether it's talking to your financial advisor about your business's challenges. Talk to fellow farmers about your production, uh, your animal health issues. Talk to your friends, family, and mental health professionals uh, about, about your mental health and your emotional health. If you know someone who is struggling, I urge you to, I urge them to open up. Get them to talk to you, a professional counselor, a pastor, or anyone you trust. There are mental health programs and supports in every province, uh, some which are provided by people who uh, know a lot about farming as well as uh, mental health issues. If you go to Farmers Talk, uh, you can find the links to programs uh, right, across, right across this country. There are people who care, people who understand. To me, mental health is, uh, mental health care is like physical health care. The earlier you can address the problem, the better off you'll likely be. The challenges of farming are real. I'm not going to tell you they're not. Um, there, there is advice and guidance to help you navigate these these challenges. And uh, I just want to uh, thank CMEX again. And I, I realize during these times of COVID, COVID nineteen, uh, it's just another another burden of challenges that uh, I not only island producers, but uh, dairy farmers of, uh, from across the, the world are experiencing. And uh, I hope there is uh, better days ahead. So I guess we'll see if there's any questions or. Yeah, uh, how are we, I'm not getting any questions on the feed here. Do we get questions? 
Anyway, uh, I just want to thank everyone for the support and uh, the CMEX. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak about mental health and uh, the importance. And uh, I'll, I'll end with the message, you're not alone. Thank you.